Hello and welcome, I'm Sonic Guru and welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. We're at the, probably the, on, the second CGI cutscene of the game. It's Sonic Story anyway. Because the previous one meant to be CG wasn't CG, it was pre-rendered in-game graphics. You can tell by the way of Sonic's mouth positioning. Sonic's, Sonic's mouth position is always like, kind of confused me. Especially you see it on models, it's always on the side. Like, all, all, always in-game it's centre. Yeah, in CG, it's on its side. You, you can see right there. Oh, these claws are really large. Yeah. And it moves with the camera. It's like Mickey Mouse's ears. Every time you look at Mickey Mouse, its ears are always in the same shape. It always seems like two equal shapes. And every time it moves its head, it's always in the same position. It just kind of tilt back and forth. Apparently, it's been... It's been um, Confirm there was another voice actress in line to voice Princess Elise. I can't remember her name though. I'll, pro I'll probably put the name up here. She was going to be it, but they went with Lacey Chabert because A, she's a fan, and B, they thought her voice suited Elise better. Kind of intimidating having the whole Solaris symbol on top. No matter what happens. And yet she's still a princess. She hasn't so, been ignited. I do my best um, to protect my country. What the fucking word? I come from I come from a monarchy, okay? I come from a from a land of always ruled by a monarchy. Indictment, there we go. She hasn't been indicted as a queen yet, she's still a princess, which doesn't make sense. At least with Blaze, you could assume she still has living parents. You're crying right there! The spell must have been broken! Or oh, the curse should have been should have been released. She's crying right there, you can see the tears in her eyes. Is it does it what what specify really? What specifies is actual crying? Because we know at the end of the game it happens. That's tight tears of sorrow, that's the rage building up because of Ib Iblis. But all of its tears of joy, what then? Oh, God, you're creepy. There it comes. A model. It's a model. I still say I like this egg carrier, but I have a lot of nostalgia for the first egg, egg carrier. It, it is a different egg carrier. The egg carrier Mark III. No, this could be Mark II of the version, but... Yeah, she's just there. Oh yeah, I'll chat with, completely forgot that. Was it earlier or now that she actually gets taken by Egg? No, because earlier, because she's been kidnapped by Eggman, and it's like, really? And this time, she's like, she willingly goes with him. not allow harm to come to my people. Eggman's actually intimidating in this game. There's only a few times he's actually intimidating where he actually will force harm upon people. The only other time he's been intimidating was Sonic Adventure 2, where he held Amy at gunpoint. A lot of people don't see that. It's like... He comes in, Amy's there, Eggman's in his in his walker, and he puts put the emerald down. Like, he's holding a gun, what looks like to be a sniper rifle. Head for wave ocean. Oh yeah, I'm not... We just got you back. We just went through the forest, got you back, and all of a sudden I walk away for two minutes and you get captured again. Wait, where the fuck is Sonic in all this? Where is he? This is terrible. Princess Elise went to see Eggman by herself. Tails, please help her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have? Oh yeah. Fucking... It don't, it don't exactly appear, do they? A 
I thought I, had, I thought I had to fly over. I couldn't remember there was fucking dash rings. Like, thank you, game, for showing that. It's not like the draw distance was about two miles away. Oh no, it's about two yards. Maybe a few, maybe like, like, fifteen feet in distance. You can't render that. You can't render fifteen feet in front of me. Ugh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like dummy rings because if you get hit, because if you get hit by an enemy, you lose your ring. You got a dummy ring at the same time. You can't see which one is an actual, you know, a ring because it happens to be. Oh, this one is a ring. This one is a dummy ring because you can tell because it doesn't collect it. I wasn't meaning to actually get that. Being able to play as Tails is good. It's just... I didn't even touch that. Playing as Tails in this is just awkward at best. Because he's so slow, whereas in... Um... Oh, you... Dick. I was meaning to get that one. I was saying that Tillis' control scheme in the other Sonic games, they're fluid. It actually feels like you can control Tails. Here, look. I shouldn't be moving this slow. I shouldn't be on this wall moving this slow. Just... Really? No springs there, obviously. Not like I needed them, is it? Sega really likes this level. I think everyone likes this level because it's the only one that actually is good. And people, and the only reason why Crisis City appeared in. Oh, fuck you, you damn archer. That's what it is. It's an orca, not a killer whale. Taking that, because I need it. Got what I was talking about now. Seriously, I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Just mentioning the controls, how I don't like them as tails, I don't like double rings, I don't like how slow he feels. I swear he gets quiet, he gets some. Um, Tie it out quicker. Just don't stop. Good. Finished. Done. I should be really happy to get to play as another character in the entire game, other than Sonic. Sonic after playing several games where you play only as Sonic. Aside from Sonic Boom. But it's trying to be a Sonic Adventure, it's just no, it just does not work. Sonic Adventure, this is not. How come? Even though it's a B anyway, I don't care. I don't care! If it's a B, it's a B. I don't care. I won't really class this as actual level, but apparently it is. Even though in the level select, it's an extra. You could, probably, you could probably hear my um, chair squeaking. So much of my time. If you had cooperated with me earlier, I wouldn't have had to do this. What do you mean you what kidnapped are you her? To do, Doctor Eggman. He Why already you told you. The flames of disaster. This is the worst part of the entire Did story. Parents ever disclose to you anything about Solaris? You kidnapped her three times now. It's all fine. In his eternal flames. And you ask me what he's trying to do. You you already figured it out. Oh God, his eyes. Can change time and even manipulate the fabric. You figured out he always wants to take over time as well, and he's like, he can actually manipulate time. To obtain this power. 
and dominate everything in this world. From the past, all the way to the future. Do you wish to rule over a time? Yes, truly. It this is the secret. big thing. It's all about time travel. It's, just, it's up until this. Well, it your mouth was moving then, and no words come out. It goes, it goes completely over your head in this. In the seven chaos Once I have everything, of course the Chaos Emeralds. Everything's linked to the fucking Chaos Emeralds. You've got to have the Chaos Emeralds to do anything in this game. And one of the beautiful gems is just ahead. Chaos Emerald located. And that's how he knows where each island to strike on. Now, Although I do have to question why the hell all seven Chaos Emeralds... Well, six of the Chaos Emeralds are on South Island. Then he's scattered to West Side Island, for some reason, all of them, where the seventh one was hidden. And how they keep going, changing colours, until they finally settled on the right colours in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. At least Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the actual emeralds being there make sense. Like, that's where they, they originated from. But not like they originated, but that's where they resided for a very long time before the whole chaos disaster. We'll probably go to the ancient castle. Let's get there first and save Elise. Yeah, let's do that, considering Sonic was fucking nowhere to be found when Eggman kidnapped her again. Anyway, I'm Sonic Guru, and I'll see you next time.